Yes. I'm not volunteering for Greg Abbott and you want to know if we count on your support for his upcoming election? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Everybody got to have a job, sir. Remember. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Sort of understandably. She certainly didn't make them look good. Uh, the fact that they have to hire people to canvas for them that have no interest in their politics or anything. Uh, that's what happens when the people don't actually support you, as is the case with Greg Abbott. So uh, she was fired, regrettably, and is now having to raise money to make ends meet while looking for another job. They tried to come out and say that she was lying, that she actually hadn't worked for them and thus could not have been fired by them. Well, look, she has explained what actually happened. First, by creating a Twitter account and saying with that account, I just saw the look on his face and it was pure amusement. I couldn't hold in my laugh to save my life and they fired me. Now, thankfully, because of the controversy around this, her GoFundMe page that she set up has already raised over $30,000. She tweeted that she's now applying to work for Beto O'Rourke. Uh, it would be a great idea for him to hire her, I believe. Um, in any event, the uh, Greg Abbott staff denied to the Daily Dot that she had ever worked for them. But she provided to the Daily Dot after that bank records and screenshots of text messages and group chats with colleagues and people. She say uh, supervised her employment as a canvasser. It's There's timestamps and there's all these messages. She has as much receipts as a canvasser for Greg Abbott as you could ever hope for someone to have. Um, their attempt to pretend that she hadn't been involved is sort of comical. Think about how funny that is. They're like, no, she didn't work for us. Then why was she handing out Greg Abbott literature? And why did she laugh the minute somebody challenged her on it? You think she was just doing that for fun? Like because she really believed in Greg Abbott and she's lying about being hired by you guys? Why would she lie about that? I mean, none of that story makes sense at all. But they, Greg Abbott's a Republican, they don't even try to make sense. They're like, it doesn't matter, put out any statement. Our right wingers will believe anything, right? So, and but and look, we're fair on everybody. Uh, she said she was a volunteer at the door. And so we, if you have a progressive candidate and somebody says they're a volunteer at the door for that person, that is, very likely to be true because we all volunteer because we need people power, not because we don't have as much money as the corporate Democrats or the corporate Republicans. But when you see a corporate Republican like Greg Abbott and then somebody says they're a volunteer for him, they ain't a volunteer. They gotta pay him, mm -hmm. okay? Because nobody's being like, oh my God, I can't wait for Greg Abbott to win again. So we could all freeze to death in Texas. Like in Texas of all places, like that happened on his watch. So we can all get shot. So, but hey, at least corporations will make more money. Nobody yeah. volunteers for that. Okay, they all have to get paid. So, and and I know why the Abbott's team caught feelings. It's kind of embarrassing, it looks right? For him. Yeah, uh, but obviously we're here for it. <laughs> so mm -hmm. better. Beto, hurry up and hire her already. Oh my God, if he if he had the social media team that was paying attention, all they have to do is have them film from her ring camera, him like going up to give her the job and like ringing her doorbell. Oh, that's they a good idea. Release that video, Beto, release it. I give this to you freely, <laughs> release the video. <laughs> By the way, my final point, uh, I like that, you know, um, I'm a little bit worried about the fact that there is still COVID out there. We're still close to about 100,000 cases a day. Things are looking like they're moving in the right direction. I just assume that everyone has moved on, but she put that like hanger on his doorknob and then she backed up a good at least 15 feet. Very responsible. I like it. That's how you knew she wasn't a Republican. <laughs> totally. <laughs>